Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. Hope you guys are doing well today. Shortly we're going to hop into an arena fight, but right now I already skipped and farmed up some Kid Boo shards. So I uh, spent 100 Dragon Stones and refilled my stamina. And now we're going to farm up the gear that we need for Golden Frieza to get her shortly to orange. So now we can collect the bento boxes there. Now someone did say that um, you can save those bento boxes up. Go ahead and shout yourself out in the comments. That save those up for events where you can get double the gear and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty good advice. And I have like 70 bento boxes saved up. So uh, thanks for that tip. And now we're going to hop into the arena and we're going to take on Grinder. He has almost 5,000 CP higher. So let's go. All right, and we get the win there. We didn't manage to stun a lot in that fight, but we still got the win. Now, that Golden Frieza, I do keep in the front. I know um, a lot of people in the comments were also saying that they put Golden Frieza in the back, and even people on my server were saying that they put Golden Frieza in the back because um, he has a as his passive skill an attack bonus instead of an HP bonus. I still think that because he gives himself a parry rate increase as uh, one of his uh, passive abilities, I think he should go in the front, but uh, that's where you guys can experiment with your lineup. Just for me personally and how my team works, I'm gonna keep the Golden Frieza in the front line. And uh, yeah guys, so right here we're in the biography and I could only get up to that stage, so I'm just gonna open up the chest right now. We got a blue move right there. We got two purple moves right there, so we're going to equip that and go into the moves um, soon. So right here, we're going to do the, the free summon. So we got a white move, and then we we'll do the gold free summon. We got a, another white move. Now I'll spend 160 dragon stones, and we do get a purple move right there. So we got a good amount of purple moves that we can put on the golden freezer. Now I do have a lot of blue moves on the golden freezer, but uh, slowly but surely we're getting more purple moves as the day progresses. And then we also got to be able to get um, our purple moves for the drain coming soon. And yeah, it should be uh, pretty interesting. These are the stats right now on my characters. The hit also, he I am using the stones or those orbs to upgrade hits move and also kid boos. So right here I'm going to kid boos. I think he has three or four orange moves. And then on hits ultimate move, I'll enhance this orange move. So it's almost at a level 110. We have like, you know, a couple 17 levels left to go on that, but uh, he's almost there. Now we're gonna go into the food. I'm gonna feed all the food to get our priority up. And I'll skip this. And guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. Drop a comment what you guys wanna see in the next video. So right here, we're gonna go into the talent points. I know I really haven't shown that off that much. But uh, right here, we have some leftover talent points, so I can put it into that. I do have a lot more attack characters in my lineup, which is why I tend to give more um, talent points, obviously, in my attack characters. But we're almost unlocked that last uh, bottom part of the talent points. So uh, whenever we unlock that, I'll put more skill points into that. Right there, we got some dragon summoning tickets. Let's hop into my bag real quick. Got some gold chests and some silver chests. Now we have a 13 aptitude shard test. We open all these. We got a hit shard right there and a couple others along with the blue tanks. Now we have some keys. I'll save those and use them for tomorrow. Got some rank up materials that we can use on the drain in the future. Now I have those saved up eggs, like 289. I'm going to wait and hold them off till the next event because I'm trying to save up for a triple S character that they're going to that they offer during events like that. So I think the Easter event they had Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So right here, here's my Golden Frieza and what the stats are looking like. I ended up upgrading 
all the skills and even some of the the war souls up a bit so uh, looking pretty good i'm not upgrading the golden freezer right now i'm gonna wait a little until we get Jiren and get him up a little more but uh let's hop into the cross server arena so we're in platinum 2 trying to get to diamond 1 so let's take on francis emerald let's go ゲームは<笑><笑> ゲームは終わりだ。Alright, so that was a really long fight. I did skip it right there towards the end because I uh, just saved you guys some time. So right now we're going to see if we can redeem for any uh, Jirin shards. And I don't think we can. But that's alright guys. I'm going to show you how many shards left we need until we get Jirin. I believe it is 6, but let's just go double check. Yep, so it is 6 shards left guys until we get Jirin. Upgrade him and put him right in the lineup when we do get him. So I'll make a video on that also. So let's see what else we could do. Get the Midas touch right there. And let's go back into the crossover arena and try a promotion challenge. We'll take on Catch You Now and let's go. Game 
He's bullied with some pretty crazy damage here, so uh, at this point I wasn't as confident, but uh, let's continue the fight. Now right here I didn't know my Golden Frieza was in the back row. Um, I probably would have switched the hit with the Golden Frieza, but that's alright, the kid be right here doing his ultimate. So that was a really tough fight. His second team was actually pretty strong. So right here we're going to go into the time limit of weapon and use these saved up like 54 tickets. And let's see what we get. A whole bunch of legendary food and APT uh, 13 chests. A couple more. We got a universal shard right there. It's pretty nice. More food. A couple of APT 13 chests. More legendary food. Some awakening stones right there, which is pretty nice. We can use that for the divine domain. So we got four more left. So I saw that uh, Super Saiyan 4 uh, bracelet or something right there. So I was trying to save up as much as I could. And then whenever it came out, I was going to try and get it. Obviously, we didn't get it. Um, but that's all right, guys. So we got a lot of these like Origin Shenron boxes. So we can open up those and see what, um, what's inside them. We're going to go into our bag. Open up 160 of them. A lot of Shenron crystals. And we got some gold there and some War Souls. So that's pretty good. Open up these. See, we got a hit shard, Maja Vegeta shard, and yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And we got a lot of food. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap this episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I'm out. Later.